Hello, everybody, and welcome back to. Yes, brought to you by our sponsors. The like button, check it out down below the video. It's been pretty great to us in 2021. And also, my clothing line, quality content, at qcathletics.com because we're doing a big revamp. So, in the meantime, with the current inventory, there is a 30% off on everything. Check it out. Link in the description, qcathletics.com. Look at these sales. Mostly the joggers are sold out though, so sorry about that. But everything else, 30% off. I mean, I think there might be some XLs left in those, but otherwise, let's start off with number 19 here, reverse psychology. Reverse psychology in pure states. Do we need audio? Okay, let's go, kiddo. Or is the kiddo not gonna wanna go? Is he like, no, we're not going. And then he just goes. <laughs> just being contrarian for the sake of being contrarian. That's actually what I was like when I was with my when I when I was really young and I lived in LA with my mom, and uh, she would she would be taking the freeway and I'd be like no take Sepulveda which is another street that you can kind of take instead of the freeway that kind of varies depending upon the traffic. I'd be like take Sepulveda and she'd be like no and I'd be like take Sepulveda but then she'd be like okay we're gonna take Sepulveda and I'd be like no but take the freeway instead. So it's always just whatever the opposite of what she's going to do, basically. Australian surfer Mikey Wright running into the sea to save a struggling swimmer in Hawaii. That looks like a, uh, those are very big waves. That's very scary. Dude, why would you ever, why would you ever want to go? I didn't even spot the person first off. And why would you ever go swimming with such gigantic waves? That's so scary. The waves are way too big, bro. I get scared by waves that are like a quarter of that size. No thanks. No thanks at all. The dude's like, bro, I had it. I had. I was really close to the shore there. Come on, man. You gotta, you gotta embarrass me in front of all the people. I had it at the end. Man, now you're making everybody notice that I was in trouble, bro. That I was struggling. I was gonna be able to walk it off. No one was gonna know the difference. I would've been like, oh, yeah, I was just enjoying swimming over there it was it was fine the waves are not quite as big now that was just like a gigantic set that came in right there oh my goodness i can i can't even not, i cannot even imagine going and surfing something like mavericks just like buildings crashing down on your head it's ridiculous unbelievable golf shot i think i've seen this on twitter before just how how do you skip it across the water like was this an exhibition it had to have been an exhibition or something like that, right? Because otherwise, why would you ever be skipping it across the water? No golfer would do that on purpose. Oh, it's still going. Oh, it's still going. Yeah, and then it, it's what? It's, what, it's, what? Is that the greatest shot that's ever happened? Oh, it was in a practice round at the Masters in November. It's a tr tradition for golfers to try to skip their ball across the lake on this hole. Um, I mean, it obviously looked like he was doing the skip on purpose. It's just like, you probably wouldn't do that if it was an actual hole for the tournament. So it makes sense it was in practice. That's so, that's so wild. Jeez, that's an experience. Like, how do you do that, man? You think, ah, oh, he's not that cool. He's gonna skip the kicker, go off to the side. Doesn't even, doesn't even have the stones to do the jump. And then you're like, oh, okay, okay. I think he could have done the jump. Yeah. He just he just did like a flat land 720 and then land into a nose or tail press into like a cork 720 out. Yeah, no, not no problem. I guess you know that something crazy is going to happen when someone's coming in that fast with someone filming behind them. It's like something something's going to take place here. Idiot in a Jeep just barely makes it past the river current. my god that almost went really bad Whew. if this was on the no 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 or not on the no 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 yes subreddit then then i might think that wait is that the other jeep coming in is it gonna have like a winch just in case he's flashing his lights he's like you just just so you know um it looks like you're in trouble can i help you it's like clippy in microsoft word <laughs> it looks like you're about to get screwed over in this river Mind if I uh, lend a hand? What you should have done is not that in the first place, okay? 
Now you might go down, but at least I'll be flashing my lights at you. Who is this angry guy walking up on me? All right, don't be, don't be road rage. Don't be road rage. Please don't be road rage. Oh, it's not road rage. Okay, <laughs> just... Hey, you know, you could use some rear visibility and also not spraying a bunch of snow into the cars behind you. This dude probably does this to multiple cars. Multiple days of the week. Just like I got... I always keep this in my passenger seat just because, dude, you don't even understand the amount of cars that just don't scrape the snow off before they go driving. I don't even live in a snowy environment. I've never lived in a snowy environment. Even I know you're supposed to do that, man. Coming in clutch. Another pizza saved. I think we've seen this one before. So good. Such reflexes. I don't even care, dude. We'll look at it again. Uh, any Anytime that we can see a pizza saved from the floor so it can go on into somebody's stomach, that is a good video, in my opinion. That's stellar, dude. Almost had a man down right there, dude. Can't have pizzas going to waste like that. Jump that went wrong. Or... This is a Bugatti Chiron per spore. Not pure sport, per spore. Which sounds different. All right, are you gonna... Oh, oh, almost went wrong. And you just end up in a parking spot. Yeah, dude. Wow. It's incredible. Oh, oh, it took some damage. That's gonna be a... This gonna be a lot of money and damages right there. That windshield is probably at least like 20,000 to get replaced right there. It's probably the exact same piece of glass that you'd find in any other car, but it's Bugatti glass. Yes, it's the same chemical compound, but it's curved so that it fits a Bugatti, therefore it's probably like $20,000, maybe even more. I'm not entirely sure. Truck in the wind. Oh God, oh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all, oh my goodness. Oh, it's way too windy. I can't, I can't even imagine, cause like, oh, it's going across multiple lanes, what? Okay, it's gotta be okay now, right? You're in the, I hope you pulled over there, because you know, being between the two sides of the, the cliff right there probably helped shield some of the wind. You gotta just chill there for a while, just put on your hazards. People are gonna be like, why is this truck just sitting in the middle of the road? You're gonna be like, believe me, I, I wish I could move, but it's a little unsafe right now. Many sweaty palms make light work. Is, is this car, like, about to fall off and the people are holding it up? Is everyone just weighing it down so that it literally does not fall off of a cliff? I mean, it's, a, it's good that it's front-wheel drive, I guess? Or it's all-wheel drive so that putting the weight on the front... Bro, is that thing about to go down? Oh my god. The fact that all these people- so there's someone in the passenger seat? Someone's just like, oh, no, 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 that's driver's seat, okay, it's right-hand driver's Like, why would somebody be staying in the passenger seat? Why wouldn't you get out of the car? We don't need more than one person in the car to drive it. Do you really want to go down with this ship if it falls off of the cliff? Holy fork, that was close. What could go wrong if I block someone in a parking lot? A lot of people claim to have such driving skills, but this guy actually backs it up, and I bet it's a, a pun because ba it's, he's literally probably backing up. Is it? Why would... Wh how are you going to park there? Also, I like how the car next to him is this absolutely microscopic thing that's smaller than even a smart car. And it's like... He's like, I, I wish I had that one now. I wish I had that car. Why do I have to have this, even though he made it work? Oh, God. He must have had a backup camera. It'd be additional points if he managed that without a backup camera, but also, you'd run a risk of hitting something. What is that? What is that tiny little thing, though? It's like a, it's like a Fred Flintstone car. It's actually foot-powered. But that thing can get in and out of any spot, ever. And probably really well, because, uh, you know, if you hit it, if you bumped into another car with your Fred Flintstone-powered car, it probably doesn't do much damage, so you can afford to tap other things at that point. Dangerous job, but somebody has to do it. What? Somebody has to do what? Run across logs in the middle of a flowing stream? I'm pretty sure there are video games about doing this. Hold up, what? What is he do- why did- why was there a chain around this log and why did it have to be untangled? I'm pretty sure that- is this Crossy Road? But it's real life? This is like the log crossing part in Crossy Road. What are you doing? Why? Why are there ch chains around these things? Can we get a- can we get a higher up shot so I know exactly what the frick is happening right now and why somebody has to do this? Is there not a better way? Is this just- this is logging? 
This is people picking up the logs so that they can be brought onto a barge? What is it? They're like cut down and then they're sent down the river and then the people pick them up in the ocean and then they're transported to wherever it goes after that? I don't know how logging works, but what? What if you fall in and then logs like smash together as you're you're up breathing for air and then two logs are just like kaboom? That's it. That's all. You know, wet logs that have all, all the like branches and stuff stripped off of them. So they're probably slippery as heck. Then you fall in into freezing cold water. Two logs smack together on you. And uh, this Subaru was built for the snow and god dang, I'm going to prove it. Yeah, who need who needs the the plowed portion of the parking lot when you can just go through the built up snow? Hey, I mean, to be fair, it's a Subaru. It's probably got some nice four wheel drive, some good fresh winter tires on it. Just go back and forth. Eventually, you'll be able to make your way through. Unless they actually did have to go through that in order to get out of the lot. I don't know, but it did look like there was a, a plowed way out. Hey man, I have had to shovel snow before, and it does, it is a tedious thing. So, if you can just avoid having to do it, then that's great. I'd be really worried about the potential for, like, rocks to just be underneath that surface there, and then you just drive your car straight into a rock and, like, destroy the undercarriage. Stupid cat. Just, this, this is fine. The, the buses can go over it. Okay, what, cat, what are you doing? No, I am powerful, cat. I will, my species will take over the world at some point. I, I'm going to stop here. This is a great place for me to be, right? It's like, no, you idiot. <laughs> the woman hadn't done that. Would that cat have just gotten absolutely destroyed? Would it have moved? Like, what? Why is your first instinct to run into the wheel? What are you doing? Everybody else is just watching. Would this person filming have felt good if that cat had gotten run over? Or would they have been like, maybe I should have been like the other dude. Military recruit saved after dropping live grenade at his feet. Yeesh. How do you, how do you, do, like, what do you do? Throw it and then it comes back to you? Or you just drop it and panic and you don't think, oh, maybe I should get this out of here. Like, what, how does that happen? How did he do that? How did he just throw it at the ground? What? How do you mess up throwing that badly? Oh, what the heck? He did, he did like a, he did like what I do when I'm doing a fake toss to my, like, I about said my dog, and I was like, I don't have a dog. Somebody else's dog. Do you, like, fake throwing it, you just drop it behind, and then the dog's like, where did the ball go? You did that, but with a grenade. Oh my goodness, thankfully, the other dude was like, okay, we're gonna go over. What? He literally did that. He just fake throw. Oh no. Too many games of fetch with the dog, and he's the muscle memory just kicked in. He was like, oh, you know, that's an oopsie right there. Jeez. Okay, well, I'm glad it all worked out in the end. That's it for the last month of no, 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 no. Yes, hopefully you've enjoyed. Make sure to like if you liked. It's a great sponsor. Check it out in the below the video. Also, if you want to catch the last no, 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 yes video, there's a thing over here. You can click the end screen, latest movie music upload down below it, and uh, QCAthletics.com for big, big sales. Check it out. Link in the description once again. That's it. I'll see you next time.